Oh, heck no. Alright, alright, now we're talking. Ah, yes, the toilet plunger. <laughs> Hello! So as you saw, I just bought a few odds and ends for my apartment. If you watched my previous vlog, you will know that I moved into my apartment, but I'm back home for a short time and then I will be back into my apartment once school starts. And when I moved in and kind of got settled there the first time, I realized I was missing a few things. So I went and picked those up and then hopefully I can steal the other things that are on my list from my house so I don't have to spend money. Um, yeah, so anyways, today I am just going to head to Starbucks and I'm going to try and finish everything in my speco checklist. So basically I have to work through a bunch of modules. And then after that, I work at the restaurant. Yeah. I'm free. I'm done. Woo! Finally done. My speco module, woo! The speco modules are complete. Woot woot! Oh my gosh. So painful. It's so boring. Like very necessary and very important. It's like preventing violence in the workplace. How to like put on PPE. Yeah, super important for patient safety as well as worker safety. But like really hard to read. It's super not that interesting. I have an hour and a half before I have to go work at the restaurant, so I thought it would be a good idea to squeeze in a quick little fun at-home workout. Um, a channel that I really love on YouTube is called Blogilates, so it's basically Pilates, but it's designed that you can just do it in a small space at your house, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that'd be fun to do an underbutt isolation. Alright, workout is complete. <laughs> I really want to have a nap now, but I'm going to get ready for work. Ah, running to work because I'm running late again. Okay, so I made it to work, but my entire outfit belongs to my sister. She's a lifesaver uh, because I took all my black clothing and left it at the apartment, not thinking that I need all black clothing for work. Yay, go me. So this is where I work. It's dead right now, so I thought, what a great time to take a video. Alrighty, so I am done work. My favorite customers came in tonight, which was so nice. They're so sweet. They always take like such a genuine interest in sort of what's going on in my life, and we always catch up. Yeah, and they're just like so polite and nice to serve. So that was nice, uh, yeah, and I got my Chinese food, so I'm gonna head home and devour it. Good morning, today is Friday, end of the week. I'm not even that excited though, cause I had the whole week off. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm doing a photo shoot. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. I'm probably just as confused as you are, but I think it's gonna be fun. Hair and makeup is done, and we are heading off to the photo shoot. I'm super excited. Also, I have no idea what to expect. So the photo shoot is done. Um, yeah, it was very like exhausting. We were only there for two hours, but it was a lot of fun to kind of see what goes on. Uh, so basically, a family friend has a photography studio and she wanted to try out a bunch of things. So my sister and I went in and we did like a sister's photo shoot. Um, yeah, and then in a couple months we'll see the results of the photos. So yeah, that was fun and now we are going to Food Truck Friday for lunch. This is my sister. Alrighty, so we are downtown and every Friday, I think during the summer, our city does this thing called Food Truck Friday. So we're gonna check out the food trucks. Hopefully they have something good. Yeah, I'm excited. Ooh, yes. <laughs> they have these cute little like picnic mats down for Foodie Fridays. It is officially nap. So we're heading to the lake for the long weekend. Um, here are some photos that I took. 
and posted to my personal Instagram. Now we are driving out to find a hiking trail. Good morning, today is Saturday and we are at a lake and we're gonna go for a hike up the mountain. We're just having a bit of trouble finding where the trail starts because there actually isn't a map. There's just like a paragraph of written directions from an old newspaper on how to get here. Yeah, anyways, the hike should be fun. Apparently it's super steep, so I guess it'll be a good workout. So I'm pretty close to the top of the mountain, but there's no sign of the lake, which is supposed to be at the top. Uh, so I think that means more walking for me, sadly. Found the lake. Woo! Made it back and I'm exhausted. <laughs> That's like the steepest hike I have ever done. So here's a little fun fact about me. I am horrible at remembering things. How was your studying for today's quiz? Quiz? There's a quiz today? Oh my god, there's a quiz today. So yeah, anyways, over the years of being forgetful me, I have sort of played around with a lot of different organizational techniques and I think I've sort of figured out what works for me and I just wanted to talk about that because it might be helpful for anyone who has sort of a busy life, a crazy schedule that isn't that consistent and you're trying to be organized as well as efficient. So there's two things that I combine. One is I use Google Calendar. So I have an iPhone and I have a MacBook and I have an iPad. So very like Apple oriented, but I don't like the calendar that comes with Apple products. I think one of my biggest pet peeves is you can't look at it like an actual calendar. If you look at a monthly calendar view, you can't see like the individual events. You just see a dot being like, oh, you have something today. That's specifically on the iPhone. If you open it up on your laptop or your iPad, you can see those things. But because I spend most of my time on my phone, I really like having that. And the Google Calendar, you can see your individual events. I also find it a lot more user-friendly and quicker to sort of enter your events the way the Google Calendar is set up compared to the Apple Calendar. As for the bullet journal, that's like this black book and it just comes with plain pages with bullets in them. This has been like a really popular thing on the internet, bullet journaling, and it's very artsy and it looks very time consuming, but a huge benefit to this is that it's 100% customizable. So you can leave out weeks if you're not doing anything for a week. You can lay out your weekly spread however you want. And that was really appealing to me. I find it really relaxing and kind of meditative to draw out the spreads. Um, but I basically just do a planner, a customized planner. That's the bullet journal. Um, and the reason why I don't just use Google Calendar alone is because if I'm in a situation where I only have my phone on me, I think it looks super unprofessional to bring your phone out in a meeting and just start typing away. Even if you're adding a calendar event, I just think it comes across as texting or it comes across as you're not paying attention to what's being said. Whereas if you bring out a book and a pen and you write down, I think that that shows the opposite, that you're really paying attention and you are taking note, literally, of dates and things to come. So that's why I like this. Also, even though the Google Calendar is efficient for entering things, it's still slower than writing it down with a pen and paper. And further, if you're on your phone and you don't have another device, it's really hard to talk to someone on the phone as well as write down an event. So again, that's why I have the bullet journal. And I just kind of combine those two. And that is how I stay somewhat organized. I may have an updated video in the future if I find a better way to do things. Um, in the past, I've used like 
pre-made laid out planners and that hasn't been bad i think i just like the artsy side of this and just being a bit more fun so today i slept in till 11 35 in the morning and it felt amazing i don't know when i'm gonna be able to do this again so i'm just being as lazy as possible this week and next week so I'm at the boyfriend's house and we have a Lego date. I'm super excited. I will show you what I build. Uh, we do this kind of like every few months. He has this massive Lego collection, loves it. And yeah, they're kind of fun to build and it's a nice thing to do to just kind of hang out. <laughs> My boyfriend's parents got me a lovely birthday card slash congrats for getting into med school card and a Starbucks gift card. Oh my god. Good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm heading to Starbucks. Okay, so I've been working through my checklist and it has all of these items. But on this checklist, there is a sub-checklist. The sub-checklist looks like this. And within this checklist, one item is like this, with all of these sections. <laughs> it's just super annoying, because you look at the main checklist and you're like, ah, oh, yay, only two more things to do until I'm done. And then you open up the sub-checklist and you're like, ah, oh, just kidding, only 50 more things to do until I'm done. And then you open up the sub-checklist to the sub-checklist and you're like, oh my god, I still have like 5 billion things to do and I haven't even started school yet. <laughs> so doing these modules has literally been the most boring thing that I've had to do related to med school so far, especially the ones related to confidentiality. You're basically reading like legal documents, definitions, policies, procedures, etc, etc. So this makes me very happy that I didn't choose to become a lawyer. I did go through a short four-year phase where I was like, yes, I definitely want to be a lawyer. But I think in hindsight, I really liked the act of arguing a case and presenting the evidence, but I really didn't like the part where I had to read cases or read sort of research papers um yeah so that's kind of funny anyways i am gonna close the vlog here thank you so much for watching please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button icon so that you get notified every time i post a video i have a super exciting video coming up in about two weeks it will be my orientation week slash start of med school vlog so I think that will be super exciting I can't wait to share more of this journey with you thank you so much for all the love and support and I will see you in the next one bye for now